Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. Today, we are going to be talking about Becky. Yes, but not just Becky. Of course, her relationship with Amber Lynn. It didn't exactly end in sunshine and rainbows, but Amber has stated recently that her and Becky are good friends, right? Why is Becky out here saying the contrary? Yikes. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, for this part of the video, I wanted to go ahead and discuss kind of good, kind of Becky, who is in a little bit of drama. Yes, welcome to the club, girl. It all started yesterday when she put out a community tab post that said the following. So unfortunately, work duties call for the evening and I'll be unable to do a live. So it seems like Becky's priorities are where they probably should be at this point, and that is in her job, which we are not sure what she does at this point, but I wish her the most success in the world. No, really. My next available day is Thursday and at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'd like to hang out and talk music, movies, rando topics, and other fun stuff. I stand my ground in saying I will not be answering anything about Amberlynn and I will block people if I have to. So this sentence right here just told me all that I needed to know. It doesn't seem like Becky has really learned her lesson. You can't talk to people like this. I feel like Becky had this idea in her head that she would just be handed the world and she could put out whatever she wanted, but that's not the case. You're not Amberlynn Reed, sweetie. And what I mean by that is Amberlynn has made a spectacle of herself. A lot of people don't or are not willing to do that. It's the same thing with Foodie Beauty, where they could put out pretty much whatever they want and people will still watch, although it is starting to fade for Amberlynn. As we have discussed previously, I feel like that plan of action is starting to fade for Amber, meaning she's going to have to start putting some more effort into her videos as well. Unless you want people to dislike you in the way that they dislike Amber Lynn, I would say probably you shouldn't talk to people in that way. So if you don't want to hang out and have fun, then don't waste your time or mine. Oh, please, Becky. I hope everybody has a lovely rest of Tuesday. Now, when it comes to Becky's YouTube channel, we have talked about how it has recently fallen apart due to her own behavior, her own actions. I feel like at this point, Becky doesn't even like YouTube, and I hope that she does put her effort into her real job and just treats YouTube like a side gig at this point because she has blown it, and I feel like the only way she could get any viewers back is if she starts slamming Amber Lynn. She really could turn this whole thing around now I understand that she doesn't want to do that that's just my opinion like I don't think she should be pressured into doing anything she doesn't want to do but that's just my opinion on the situation a user by the name of cat lover actually commented on her community tab post and said the following honestly it does make you the better person not to discuss a past relationship however we the audience are here listening to her constantly talk about you just recently on her let's talk video or whatever she's calling it these days. She did throw Becky under the bus yet again. It's a constant thing with her. Uh, kind of shocked me later when I went back and saw it. I was kind of harsh to her because it's like she just broke my heart. It was some weird mental gymnastics I was doing where it's like I kind of wanted her to feel some sort of pain. Where's the money, girl? I feel like Becky must have been really uncomfortable to have her moving in wifey. I mean, she didn't even know her from a hole in the wall. Now, I do know that in the past, Amberlynn has actually said that Becky and wifey were friends or at least friendly, but I can't help but think that Becky just put on a happy face because she didn't want to cause any drama when really inside she was hurting. I would be uncomfortable. However, we the audience are listening to her constantly talk about you pretty negative. In my own personal opinion, I would appreciate if you just made a statement acknowledging that what she says is wrong and mean. It would be nice to know if you got the money you clearly earned for the live streams. That's another point of contention. Why hasn't Amberlynn given her the money that she had promised? When it comes to the live stream money, I'm going to go ahead and leave a disclaimer. I do 
recall Becky actually saying that she didn't get the money. But I also recall Becky saying that all of that money went to bills. So I don't know if I can really believe Becky at this time because it seems like a lot of that money went to bills. Is that where it was supposed to go? I mean, she did have to spend half the rent at the end of the month. Does Becky see that as her keeping the money from her? And is she angry about that? What do you guys think? Bills first? It's all just so messy. I get the feeling that maybe she kept a lot of that money away from Becky to pay bills, but maybe Becky was upset about that. Maybe if Amber could calmly and rationally explain this situation, we could get to the bottom of it. <laughs> so Becky, at the end of the relationship, was working for Amberlyn. Amberlyn actually called her an employee. I know, as bad as it sounds, but she did promise her that she would give her a percentage of the live streams. And Becky has said that she didn't give her that money. So what happened? They had made an agreement and she owes her that money. People were watching those live streams to get the breakup drama. That's why they had so many views. And part of that is Becky, even if she didn't contribute as much. She did contribute quite a bit to those live streams, in my opinion. So stop getting mad at me because I found someone that makes me happy. Like we're not in a relationship, but you know. where you want, but wow. it's for wifey. And to know you aren't still driving her around, etc. It would be nice to know you aren't sharing your friends with her. It would be fantastic to know you aren't you aren't allowing her to trauma dump on you, etc., etc., etc. Now, you guys, here is where it gets good because kind of good, kind of back actually had a response to that, and this is one of the first times that she has mentioned Amber Lynn on her channel. Take a look at this response from Becky. For my mental health, I did stop talking to her and for her mental health too. We can be better people apart. I wish her well and happiness. Ooh wee. I feel like that contradicts what Amber Lynn has been saying for months on her channel, claiming that they are still good friends. I feel like she has not really mentioned Becky too much recently, except on that recent Let's Talk where they were still talking about the breakup. But she hasn't recently mentioned where they stand as far as their relationship right now. And maybe it's time for you to do it, girl. There's nothing Shook likes more than a good cat fight, and this could be a classic. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from yesterday's video, which was about foodie beauty and the breakup. We've managed to keep this entire episode foodie-free, except for comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from Jaded Daily, who says... I think Natter tells her what she wants to hear because she is the money tree for him. It's sad. She knows it, but doesn't want to admit to herself this relationship isn't real for him. It's very real for her because she supports him in every way. I can't say that I disagree with that one at all. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Was there a little bit of a tiff between Becky and Amber? That's what I have speculated. They got into a bit of an argument when it came to this live stream money and where it was supposed to go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.